Welcome. In this module, we'll talk about Center for Internet Security, CIS, Top 20 Critical Security Controls, and Control 10, Data Recovery Capabilities. It's such an important control. Now, this is the layout for the CIS controls, to the Top 20 Critical Security Controls. The URL is shown on the bottom of the screen, and we're talking about Control 10, Data Recovery Capabilities. Now, this is the Entity Relationship Diagram. On the left, you have the Alerting Reporting Analytics System. On the right, you have your computing systems. And here, we're going to utilize data backup systems or offsite and online backups. Control 10.1, ensure regular automated backups. Ensure that all system data is automatically backed up on a regular basis. 10.2, perform complete system backups. Ensure that each of the organization's key systems are backed up as a complete system through processes such as imaging to enable the quick recovery of an entire system. 10.3, test data on backup media. Test data integrity on backup media on a regular basis by performing a data restoration process to ensure that the backup is properly working. 10.4, ensure protection of backups. So in the previous uh, control, it was saying that you need to test the backups. Not, you should not only take the backups and take full system backups as well and automate the backups, but you should also test them because if you keep storing the backups on the day when you actually, there's a crash or there's a disaster um, or there's a difficulty or a challenge and you need to recover the backup, that should not be the day in which you uh, find out that uh, there was some difficulty or the backup was corrupted or the backup was not taken properly or that you cannot find the backup uh, or any other uh, difficulty in, in that way. So we, should, we need to test the backups just to make sure that we can even, uh, we can recover them. Otherwise, the entire exercise is futile. Control number 10.4, ensure protection of backups. Ensure that backups are properly protected via physical security or encryption when they are stored as well as when they are moved across the network. This includes remote backups and cloud services. 10.5, ensure backups have at least one non-continuously addressable destination. Ensure that all backups have at least one backup destination that is not continuously addressable through operating system calls so that uh, it is away from the uh, regular uh, part of the network. And uh, if there is any malfunction, then that addressable destination may also be affected. Procedures and tools. Once per quarter or whenever new backup equipment is purchased, this is recommended by CIS, a testing team should evaluate a random sample of system backups by attempting to restore them on a test bed environment. The restored system should be verified to ensure that the operating system, application, and data from the backup are all intact and functional, and it all works. In the event of malware infection, restoration procedures should use a version of the backup that is believed to predate the original infection, and that's very important. So there's a number of great mechanisms here um, suggested for data recovery capabilities. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.